Hi guys, Frank here with Build Your Own. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to dive into the component names and basic operations of the Kenwood Exelon DMX 809S. If you missed it, be sure to check out my last video where I covered the firmware update process. I'll put the link to that video in the description below. Now, let's get started. First, let's take a detailed look at the monitor panel. Understanding each component is crucial for effectively using your Kenwood DMX 809S remote sensor. This is located at the top of the unit and is responsible for receiving signals from the remote control. It allows you to control the unit from a distance without having to touch the screen directly. This is particularly useful when you're driving and need to make adjustments on the fly. Screen touch panel, the main interactive display of the DMX 809S. This touch sensitive screen allows you to navigate through menus, select options, and control various functions of the unit with ease. It's responsive and designed to be intuitive, making your interactions with the unit seamless. Monitor panel, the physical casing that houses the screen and other components. It's built to be durable and integrates perfectly into your car's dashboard, giving a sleek and OEM look. Home button. This multifunctional button serves several purposes. Press it to turn on the power, hold it to turn off the power, and press it while the unit is on to display the home screen. The home screen provides quick access to all the main features of the DMX 809S, such as navigation, media, and settings. Menu display off button. This button has dual functions. Press it to pop up the function menu, where you can adjust various settings and options. Hold it down to turn off the screen, which is useful for reducing distractions while driving at night. It's a simple yet effective way to manage your display settings. Voice button activates the voice recognition function, allowing you to control the unit using voice commands. This feature is especially useful for hands-free operation, enhancing safety and convenience while driving. Whether you want to change the music or get directions, just use your voice. Volume buttons. These buttons are used to adjust the volume of the audio output. Press the plus button to increase the volume and the minus button to decrease it. They are conveniently located for easy access while driving, ensuring you can quickly adjust the volume without taking your eyes off the road. USB terminal. While the USB terminal is located at the rear panel of the unit, once installed, it will be accessible in the interior of your car, typically routed to a convenient location. This port allows you to connect USB devices such as flash drives and smartphones. It supports charging and data transfer, making it easy to play music, videos, and other media directly from your devices. It's a versatile port that keeps you connected and entertained. Additionally, the buttons on the monitor illuminate and change color periodically with the unit turned on, adding a stylish touch to your car's interior. These buttons and ports are essential for navigating and using your Kenwood DMX 809S effectively. Home screen. Home screen customization. You can customize the home screen to suit your preferences. To display the home screen from any other screen, simply press the home button. The home screen serves as your central hub, providing easy access to all the unit's features. Touching the operation keys. Touching these operation keys performs the following actions. Now playing displays the control screen of current source. This shows the current source, allowing you to manage what's currently playing or being used. Three rows of squares displays the source option selection screen. This screen lets you choose between different sources or options, providing flexibility in what you want to access. Shortcut playback source icons. Quickly access playback sources through these icons, streamlining your interaction with the unit. Displays the hands-free screen. When a Bluetooth phone is connected, this screen shows the hands-free controls, making it easier to manage calls. When connected via Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, these operation keys work as a phone provided in Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. Turning the power on and off. Turning on the power. Press the home button. When you turn on this unit for the first time, you might need to wait for the system to acquire GPS signals from satellites, which can take a few minutes. Turning off the power. To turn off the power, simply hold the home button until the unit powers down. Now that we've covered the essential components and basic operations of the monitor panel and home screen, let's move on to some key functionalities that you'll use regularly. We'll delve into how to put the unit in standby mode, adjust the volume for an optimal listening experience, and set up the initial settings to personalize your Kenwood DMX 809S. Putting the unit in standby. Display the source option selection screen from the home screen by pressing the three rows of squares in the lower left corner. Put the unit in standby by navigating to and selecting standby on the source option selection screen. Turning off the screen. On the monitor panel, press the display off button. On the pop-up menu, touch display off. To turn on the screen, 
simply touch the screen or press the display off button. Adjusting the volume. You can adjust the volume from 0 to 40 by pressing the volume plus to increase and the volume minus to decrease the volume. If the volume level is below 15, holding volume plus increases the volume continuously to level 15. Mute the sound. On the source control screen, you can temporarily mute the sound by pressing the attenuation icon. To cancel mute, press the attenuation icon again. However, it's important to note that the availability of the mute function can vary depending on the source you are using. For example, when you're connected via Android Auto and using an app like YouTube Music, you might not see a specific mute button. In this case, you can only pause the music directly from the app's interface. When using sources like HD Radio, the Mute Attenuate button is visible and functional. This allows you to quickly mute the sound without changing the source or adjusting the volume. If you need to quickly lower the volume, you can also use the Volume Minus button to decrease the volume rapidly instead of looking for a mute button. Now that we've gone over how to put the unit in standby, adjust the volume, and turn off the screen, it's time to focus on configuring your Kenwood DMX809S for the first time. Initial Settings When you power on the unit for the first time or after a reset, you'll be greeted by the initial setup screen. This is an important step to ensure your unit operates smoothly and meets your personal preferences. If you've already set up your system and would like to go through these settings again, Here's how you can reset it to access the initial setup screen. From the home screen, click the three rows of squares to open the menu, then click Setup, and then click System. Scroll down and click and hold Initialize. The system will reboot, and then you will be presented with the initial setup screen. Let's walk through the initial settings to get your unit ready for optimal use. Perform the initial settings. Demonstration. On activates the display demonstration. Off deactivates the display demonstration. Language. Select the text language used for on-screen information. Options include English, Spanish, French, and GUI language. This selects the language used for displaying operation keys and menu items. Front camera. Make the settings to display the picture from the connected front view camera if available. Rear camera. Configure the settings to display the picture from the connected rear view camera if available. User customize. Change the display design to your preference. Viewing angle. Select the viewing angle in relation to the monitor to make the image on the screen easier to see. Options include 0 degrees, 5 degrees, 10 degrees, 15 degrees, and 20 degrees. Once completed, click Finish and the home screen appears. After all this is done, you'll need to re-add your phone as the reset will clear previously connected devices. Make sure to go through the Bluetooth pairing process again to reconnect your phone. Date and Clock Settings Finally, let's go over the date and clock settings. Setting the correct date and time on your Kenwood DMX809S is crucial for accurate functionality, including GPS navigation and timestamp media files. Whether you need to adjust for daylight saving time or simply ensure your clock is precise, these settings allow you to customize your system to your preferences. Let's walk through the steps to access and configure these settings. How to get to the date and clock settings. Display the home screen. Press the home button to bring up the home screen. If you are not already on the home screen, this action will navigate you there. Display the setup screen. From the home screen, tap the three rows of squares to access the menu. Tap the setup gear icon to open the setup screen. Display the system screen. On the setup screen, tap the system icon to enter the system screen. Scroll down and select the item you want to change, such as clock, time zone, or daylight saving time. Set or adjust the date and clock items. To select the method to set the date and clock, select clock from the system screen. GPS sync. Select this method to set the date and clock time automatically using GPS signals. Manual. Choose this option to set the clock manually via clock adjust. Touch the clock adjust icon from the system screen to manually adjust the date and time. Time format. To adjust the time format from the system screen, select time format. Select the time display format. 12 hour or 24 hour time zone to adjust the time zone from the system screen select time zone set the time zone for your residential area by selecting from options like pacific time central time eastern time and mountain time clock adjust to manually adjust the date and time from the system screen select clock adjust touch the up and down arrows to adjust the date year month and date and time hour and minute Touch set to finish setting the clock. Note, if you select a GPS sync to set the date and time, this clock adjust section will be grayed out. Daylight saving time. 
To adjust daylight saving time from the system screen, scroll down and select daylight saving time. Daylight saving time DST, you can select from off, which includes no additional time for DST, or you can select either 30 minutes or one hour for DST adjustment. Note, if you select it manual for the clock setting, this daylight saving time section will be grayed out and unavailable for selection. Ensure you have the clock set to GPS sync if you wish to adjust daylight saving time settings. You can also display the clock screen by touching the clock area if shown on the home screen. By following these steps, you can ensure your Kenwood DMX809S is set up correctly and ready to use. That wraps up my detailed guide on the Kenwood DMX809S component names and basic operations. Stay tuned for more Kenwood DMX809S videos. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to receive notifications about new videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.